Hey, it's Matt. Back with another mystery box here. I got this at an auction, and I got this one for $9. And there were a couple pictures of it, so I knew somewhat of what was in it, but there's always some buried stuff. And I uh, haven't gone through it yet, so I'd like to go through it with you. So, what we have here looks like a Union Super Steel Toolbox. And I just really like this blue handle on here. It's kind of held on by some chain links. It has a lot of detail in it. I just, I really like this box, so I think it was worth it. The $9 just for this box. It's in pretty good shape. So let's take a look what we have inside of it. Now, I saw one thing in the top that I liked that made me want to bid on it, so... It is over there. We will get to it. So let's start down over here and see what we have. Looks like a lot of drill bits. One drill bit, two drill bit. That's an interesting drill bit. I've never seen anything like that. Maybe that's a milling bit or something to go in and then move from side to side. I don't know. Let me know. Down in the comment there, what is that bit used for? Don't know. Interesting though. Any more bits in there? Nope. Throw those down there. Looks like some sort of punch tool, maybe a handle or something. Not sure on that. I can't tell if there's any threads in there or not. Don't know. Oh, we got some screws, washers, odds and ends, little Allen hex key in there, little teeny tiny one. Felt there's even size on it. Oh, we got a little nesting screwdriver here. Let's see how many we got inside of here. Oh, we have two. Three. Nope, the other one's missing out of there. So, missing a little piece out of there, but I'll take that. A little brass old school screwdriver. I like those. That'll probably just be a keeper. Hang on to that. Little Allen set. Let's see what uh, maker we have on here. Eklund, E K L I N D. Fairly common name. Let's see their standard size. That's definitely usable. All the tips look good. Looks like that one was used a little bit more than every other one, but still a good usable tool. That'll go in the toolbox. A pair of scissors. Ooh, those have seen better days. Got a nice opening there. So, yeah. yeah. They sound good for the first quarter, but not that great. Uh, looks like we do have a name on there. Star? Let's see if I can get you in real close. No, it doesn't want to focus. Star... Fremont, Fremonton, USA, I believe. So, yeah, don't really know anything about scissors, so, but they're pretty damaged. Probably going to end up being scrap. Yeah, that's interesting. A butter knife. Stainless. Not silver. Oh, too bad. I'll throw that in the drawer upstairs and see what the wife says. Yeah, we got this cool bit, and this is for uh, old school bit brace. We got a square with a taper on here. And uh, it says something on there. It looks like Stanley. Stanley number 13 something. Cool, interesting bit. I'll hang on to that just because it looks cool. Nice. A little auger bit, another for the bit brace. A little hose clamp. Another auger bit for the bit brace. Slug. Screwdriver bit. Now, no, those are interesting. I've never seen anything like that before. What does it say there? Can you read it? I can't. Pioneer Tool Company, Racine, Wisconsin. Right in my backyard. 
Maybe tubing cutters? I don't know. What would you cut with those? Anyone know? Put it down in the comments section there. Don't know. Kind of cool. Alright, can always use little wire wheels. Awesome. And a screwdriver. Look like anything too special. Don't really see a name on it. Tip is eh, okay. Um, drill bit extension. So you'd stick this end in your drill chuck, and you put your drill bit down in there, and secure it with the Allen. So, yeah, drill bit extender looks like another long drill bit. It's a nice spear tip on there. I don't know what they call these or what they are used for specifically, but. Oh, some sort of latch hook or something. Oh, a white Crayola crayon. Wonderful. Nail with the tip cut off of it. Yeah, that's worth saving. Oh, yeah, a bunch of nails in here. Some screws. I don't know what that is. Little brass doohickey. It's got a square center in there. I don't know what that is. Hmm. So, no more tools in there. What's this? A tag. Well, that's cool. I like tags. Let's see what it says here. Jack Egler Jr. Boot, Rockford, Illinois. And this is pretty close to where I got this. Uh, so, yeah, Jack Egler Jr. Boot. I wonder if this is a tag for some boots or something. I don't know. Do you know? Let me know. This will probably get uh, screwed to something and uh, held on to. That's kind of cool. A little bent up, but nice little tag. And we got a really bent screwdriver. That thing has seen better days. Bent and burnt. So, yeah, I don't know if I can make out what it says on there. I'll try to read it later. All right, I don't think there's any more goodies in that section there, just hardware nails. Now let's get to the good stuff of why I got this right here. I saw this in there, an old Cornwell box wrench, 6 point, and 9 sixteenths half inch. BWS 1618S. And that's what I, I wanted to bid on this. I like these old Cornwell, old Mac, old Snap-on, and even the older stuff. Blackhawk, Milwaukee Tool and Forge. I look for this kind of stuff, so that's definitely going to get added to the collection, or maybe to the use box. So we'll set that over there. Let's see what else we have. I couldn't really see much of this in the picture, so this is all... The rest of this is a surprise. Little flathead screwdriver bit. That's to locate the screw in the bit so it doesn't slip off of there. Looks like we got a couple more of those in here. Yeah. Three more of those. Looks like these two are the same size. That one's a little bit smaller. I'm not sure if those are worth much. It's got a little... Oh, that's bent. So that's... We're going to put that over in the scrap metal bin right away. Looks like we got another one. I don't know if that's bit bent, but... That's a countersink bit. So you can countersink the screw head down in there for wood. All right, another cool old wrench. Now this is probably an Industro. Doesn't say it on there, but I recognize that shape. Made in the USA, five sixteenths, three eighths. Yeah, drop forge select steel. I believe that was their trademark. It's got an F on there. P seven two one. So it's a nice little wrench. I don't really collect the double opens. But it is an oldie and a goodie. Definitely worth a couple bucks. Another little wrench in here. What do we have 
up here. Drop Forge Steel. No, just Forge Steel Japan. We got 11.30 seconds, let's say. And what do we have on the other side? 5 sixteenths. Come on. 5 sixteenths. Forge Steel Japan. Probably not worth much. And what is that? Gidor, Gidor, India, 3A, Spox Wrench. I don't know if I have any tools from India. I guess I can add that to the, uh, to the overseas pile. It looks like it's in nice shape. Doesn't look like it's ever been even used. Don't know about India tools, but if you know, let me know in the comment. All right, Dasco punch. Nail set. Punch used to be broken. I guess I could fix that, but I have so many of these. I don't know. I guess I'll fix it. Oh, another little teeny tiny wrench. That one is pretty rusty. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a name off of that. Quarter inch. It says something else on it. I don't know if they're both quarter inch. That size looks a little smaller. Is that E5 or something on there? E53? I don't know. And that says something. It says something. But I can't read it. So, that's eh, a cool little wrench. I'll clean that up and... See if I can get any sort of identification on it. But I like these weird ones that are have different offsets on them. So that might be a keeper. Add to the collection. Let's see what else we have here. Ooh. Now oh, that's a surprise. I didn't see that in the picture. That is a Craftsman 5 16 11 32nd V. Uh, little ignition wrenches, I believe they called these. 12 point 11 32nd on that side. Looks like it's in pretty good shape. And uh, I don't have any of these yet, so that's my first, so that's cool. I'll definitely hang on to that one. And we have two flat wrenches like this. What does that say? Acme 2029. Bet you this is the same brand. Yep, Acme 2029, same wrench. Well, this one looks like it might be... Wobbled out or a different style or something. Something funky with this one. Well, they're both funky. Maybe I got it backwards. Yep. Interesting. Maybe it's a quick ratchet like those Craftsman ratchet ones where you slip past one way but wrenches the other way. I don't know. That's cool. Two of the same wrench. Alright, we have a bunch of nails. Screwdriver bit. Allen key. Nothing much in there left other than the hardware. So let's take a look what we have in the bottom of this box. I don't think there was too much good in here. Yeah, it's not looking too good. I don't know what that is. Um, yeah. Any guesses? Let me know. There's a patent number on the bottom of there. Looks like some sort of holder or display or something for something. Don't know. Garbage. Got a nice big horse pill bottle. Look at the size of that pill bottle. I do not want to know what kind of pills were in that thing. Jeez. But that's just filled with drill bits. Um, looks like a couple masonry drill bits. Some... Yeah, just regular old drill bits in there. Again, I'll always take drill bits. I don't like buying them. If they work, they work. Another spade bit down there, one inch. That's cool. We got brand new in the package. Drywall drill. Nope, not drywall, just regular countersink. Bit. Another one of those. A little lock. Um, that was cut. Okay, that's 
useless. I don't see a key down in there either way. Oh, a little PVC pipe plug. Well, I guess I'll throw that in the hardware. An old lead wheel weight. Throw that in the lead bin. We got this drill. Oh, old, old drill. What do we have here? Model type 1250 capacity quarter. Looks like that says Thor. Thor's. Don't know. But it's kind of a cool drill. Doesn't really. Not really ergonomic back in the day. The switch works. What do you say? Should I plug it in and see if we have any electricity? All right. Give me a second here. Hold on. I'll be right back. Plug's right here. Wait. Wait for it. Wait for it. All right. Am I going to get electrocuted or is this puppy going to work? If we're going to see sparks, it's probably going to be right out of there. I think I can see it, but I can see the armature right through there. So let's give her a pull here. Oh, yeah. She works. Whoa. What, what a bunch of torque on that one. So, yeah. One... One direction, no reverse on this thing, it doesn't look like. Got a brush holder screw right there. Brush holder screw down there. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever heard of this brand in electric. I think I've seen some pneumatic tools. But, yeah, nice old drill. I don't know if that's worked anything. I mean, it works. It's got, it's got some power. It's a little delay in it. And that's not the camera, that is the actual delay in that drill running. So, I don't know, let me know. Have you ever heard of these? Are they good? Good drills? Worth something? Clean it up? It's a little nasty? I don't know what that is. Don't ask me. Don't know. But, uh, yeah. So, let me get this stuff uh, cleaned up a little bit and organized. And uh, we'll go through it again and you can let me know. Did I get my money's worth? What was your favorite tool? All right, I'm back for the wrap-up. Let's take a look, see if this was worth $9. $9. Now, the box, I really like this box. I like the blue handle. I like how the blue is on the inside of the box. It's in decent shape. It's got a little bit of a wobble to it. So it's a little out of square. Might be able to tweak it back. There's no real damage on it or noticeable dents or dings it's just a little twisted maybe from too much weight in there or something but i really like that box i think i'm going to hang on to that one for a little bit but i think that box i think i get 20 bucks for the box just by itself so i think that more than doubled the money of what i paid for this um i have some various hardware here washers nails i don't know what that is anybody ever seen that before what is that little weird hooky thing for no idea. Ah, some screws. You had a punch in there. I didn't see that in there before. A little easy out. Our bits, little logger bits for the bit brace and what have you. Drill bits, various sizes, screwdriver bits, screwdrivers, this weird stuff. Hopefully someone can let me know what that's for if it is a tubing cutter. You know, it's I've had some tubing cutters that were similar to that, but they were plastic, but weird, interesting little tool there. Some Allens. That tag, I really like that tag. That's awesome. And then, uh, obviously the Cornwall wrench that I was after that I just had to have for nine bucks. And we'll add that to the collection. Not sure what year that is. Uh, it's got a 6 on it, so that could be 56, could be 46. I doubt it's 46, uh, usually during the war. It was right after, but usually they didn't plate them, so I'm going to say that that's probably 56. Or it could not mean a year at all. But I'm pretty happy with that. Pretty happy that it came with one of these little craftsmen's and a V. Industrial wrench is pretty cool. I'll just throw these in my average box of older tools and they can hang out there for a while. But let me know 
what do you think what was your favorite tool was it worth it did i make my money back was it a good haul it wasn't wasn't great clearly but i think i did all right for nine bucks thanks for watching see you later